Hello all, so we're pretty much finished off with this exam document. I think it's formatted nicely. Now I think the only last little finishing flourish that we could do is actually just put a box underneath here which tells students that this is the end of the question. So just before the additional answer pages come up, um, I want to put a little box underneath here which says we've finished the questions now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just come just between, just before it says end questions and I'm going to put an N, uh, T colour box in. Okay. So I'm going to put this in censored page. So begin, begin, center. So I'm going to center this in the middle of the page and obviously end the center as well. And I'm going to put this in a T color box. So I think that's nice. So T color box. Okay. Now the parameters I'm going to use, so I'm going to come up here to begin T color box and it's going to be basically the same parameters as I've pretty much defined before. So I want it to be enhanced. Um, I want the frame color to be black. So cold frame to be black. And I also want the background color to be white. So I'm going to put cold back equals white. Okay. Now, just a word of warning. Okay. You notice that here I'm not actually defining that many parameters relative to what I've defined in previous videos. Reason being is the way that T color box works is it will use, if you don't define the parameter, it will either use the default or it will use the most previously defined parameter. Okay. So for example, if you notice that my my um, T color boxes have generally all got rounded corners. Reason for that is because I've defined that in a previous video. Uh, yeah, in the previous video and in a previous T color box, okay? But if you don't define it, it will use the default. So that's just a word of warning, okay? If I now go and stick another T color box in here, which has wildly different parameters, then those parameters will carry on into this T color box as well. So that's just a word of warning, okay? So if your T color box isn't quite behaving, then go and check that. Anyway, what do I want in here? Well, first of all, I need to put curly brackets to say this is what goes inside my T color box. I'm going to put in the center of the T color box, so begin and end center. Okay, I'm going to make this um, large with a capital L. Okay, and I'm going to put this in bold, so control B. I'm just going to type in caps lock, end of examination questions. Yay! Okay, cool. Uh, and now if I recompile this, you notice that at the end here, I have a T color box which appears, which has end of examination questions. And if you feel that's a little bit too close, you can just put some V space in above. So for example, I might want to go backslash V space and maybe, I don't know, 100 millimeters. Okay, and if I recompile that, then that'll just give a little bit of space between the last question and where it starts um, end of examination questions. Okay, like so, and actually I could go back and uh, just change that a little bit more if I wanted to, to get it right at the very bottom of the page, okay? Only last thing I'm gonna add in this video, so it's a very quick video, this one. I'm just gonna change down here where I've said the additional answer pages. Remember that I said I want three pages of dotted lines in case students want it. Well, I mean, again, it's supposed to be a template. I don't really wanna dig through the code every single time if I only wanted two um, answer pages, for example. So I'm gonna do this using a, uh, a macro. So I'm gonna come right to the very top of the page where I've got all the rest of my details. And I'm gonna go backslash new command. Okay, and this new command I'm gonna call, let's just call it backslash extra pages. I think that's fine, okay? And it's just simply gonna be, in this case, I'm just gonna use three, okay? And obviously that means that if I wanted two, I could just change that to two or five or seven or however many pages I wanted. And obviously the last thing to do is to change this down here to backslash extra pages, okay? And now I'll just recompile just to show everything's still working properly. I think that is a document which you can be proud of, okay? And uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's all it. With the formatting of the document, I think I'm happy there. I'm gonna stop there, okay? Um, but obviously, hopefully I've shown you um, enough kind of techniques and things to get this formatting looking exactly how I wanted to or how you want to. Um, next video, I'm going to look at actually adding some pictures using PGF plots and also ticks code as well. So I'm gonna show you how to actually input some pictures into this document as well, which might be quite handy for you.